Twitter shares will be starting to trade on the market. Chris Desi, Silverback Social CEO, is very bullish on Twitter, and he joins us now. Wait a second. You're not bullish on the stock, right? Because you're not really a stock watcher. I'm not you're a stock guy. Listen, we're, we're a social media agency. Exactly. Right? So I'm coming at it from a perspective where second screen right now is the biggest thing happening in media. Media is turned on its head. Campaigns are dead. I'll give you the example. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a I'll give you the example. I don't understand so, second screen. So What's that? if you're sitting there watching television, yeah. chances are that you've got an iPad open or your iPhone open, and you're following along the conversation on Twitter. It's compelling. It is the new way of advertising right now. For the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, for example, Robin Roberts' special was on 2020. The Someday is Today campaign was launching during that show. So Silverback, live, as that commercial aired, was engaging in a conversation as the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society as people were ingesting the show on television, they were prepping and having a conversation about the commercial about to be launched, the new Someday is Today campaign on behalf of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and we were having a conversation on Twitter with the millions of viewers that were ingesting it while they were watching the show. There is nothing else out there. That's totally different. That the can dynamic do that. is different from it has Facebook. Ultimately changed. It has ultimately changed. The dynamic is different because people can engage in the conversation in real time and and different clients and agencies can now parachute into the conversation. So, okay, so you're saying that Twitter as a platform for advertising. The most compelling advertising platform out there. Better than fa Facebook. To have a real-time conversation in examples like I just listed for sports events, for things that are the recency, the, as content is breaking, as information is breaking, you look at it, uh, Bone and Bow at Mondelez and with Oreo cookie during the Super Bowl when the blackout happened, all of a sudden within minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, yeah. they had a campaign for Oreo cookies. Cookies still dunk well in the dark. That's the direction really? that campaigns really? are that going. Cool, but here's the That's conundrum, though. Uh, what makes it so fantastic is the fact that there aren't any big commercial interruptions right now. Yep. As you start to get that stuff in there to monetize it, how, how attractive does it become to the end user? Well, listen, it just becomes part of the culture, right? People used to lament about Facebook. Oh, Facebook's never going to have any ads. All of a sudden, they have ads. Facebook's not going to have ads in the news feed. Now they have ads. People will grumble about it, and then they will acquiesce because this is the platform of choice right now. And the reason why I approach Twitter and I say that I'm bullish is because right now, Silverback is platform agnostic and software agnostic, but we pluck out the social media platforms that are most compelling on behalf of our brand partners. Right now, the major players, Twitter, Facebook. Pinterest, Google+. So when we're trying to figure out what's going to have the most compelling conversion event and what's going to have the most compelling conversation so that that brand can connect to the over 1 billion people on social platforms, Twitter has to be a part of that conversation. See, I'm so out of date. I just think there's a nasty <laughs> little pop-up things that pop up at you. Well, you're still thinking about smoke signals. It's, it's not that. It's totally different. <laughs> Shut up. It's not that. <laughs> I know you missed me yesterday. <laughs> Were you sick yesterday? A little bit. I hope you're not feeling any better. All right. Sorry. No, sorry. sorry. So, so, Twitter beats them all. Twitter beats them all You're right now. You'll love I'm it. absolutely bullish, and it's because media has changed. I mean, okay. Andy Kessler talked about it in Wall Street Journal yesterday. I am on that bandwagon, and I'm bullish on Twitter.